everybody coming on. I'm going to welcome our special guest on. He's um, a very avid, uh, passionate uh, Leicester City fan. Um, he's got his own YouTube channel himself. Uh, just hit over to uh, 10,000 subscribers, which is brilliant news. And that man is Lee Chappie. Yes. Thank How you for having me on again. No, no worries. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm enjoying seeing some of the comments coming in. Um, especially yeah. one from Dupe, MCFC says, I'm nervous for the Leicester game. I love that, that because <laughs> uh, that's not something I ever thought I'd see, you know, because Man City, this massive tycoon, massive club now in the Premier League and uh, and fans of the of that club saying, I'm a bit worried about Leicester. That's that's good to know. That's good to yeah. know. Yeah, isn't it? You know, I bet it is quite... You know, uh, passionate for you to see that and admiring to see that the the city fans are nervous for uh, for the Saturday's game. Yeah, bring it, bring it yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, moving on to Saturday's game. What are you thinking about? What do you think? Have you got a big chance after the last game you played against us, which will I'm I'm sure you'll bring up at some point. Yeah, um, it's a surprising win against you boys. Uh, we might as well just dig deep into it now. Um, I got the team uh, that we beat you five two with. Yeah, I'll just um, get you in there. I, I'm not quite sure how we beat you five two with that <laughs> with that team. Um, you know, Mendy's not our number one holding role. Um, Ndd is. Ndd was out injured. Uh, I think he was actually. I think he might have been on the bench. No, he wasn't on the bench. Uh, mm. You know, and then we had like. Dennis Pratt on the right instead, you know, it was, it was just really, really weird. Daniel Amate at centre back with Johnny Evans as soon to. I just mm -hmm. didn't quite understand. And Justin only just really started really coming into his own. Yeah. At that point, yeah. you, you know, it was a weird, it's a weird result, I thought. And a strange, just a strange result. Yeah, it definitely was, wasn't it? And obviously, you know, you look at that team and then, you know, you've got the likes of Madison who came on and scored a very, very good yeah. goal too, you yeah. know? So, yeah. you know. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know, but isn't Castagna like a midfielder as well? Is no. He, is, is he not? Castagna is a uh, is technically a right back according to the um, the Belgium international side, uh, right. but he, he can play left back and he, he has, you're right, he has played on that right mid before yeah. uh, as well, but yeah, he's really a, a wing back, so to speak. Um, mm. But I mean, if you look at this side right now, we've got no James Justin. He's tore his ACL, so he's going to be out till around November. So he drops yeah. out. Yeah. Harvey Barnes is still out. He's about four weeks into his surgery, so we ain't going to see Harvey Barnes. So he drops out. Yeah, right. You're not going to play Mendy. You're going to play Ndidi. So we'll take we'll take Mendy out, and we'll put Ndidi in. Uh, Ndidi number twenty five. Where is my man Wilford? The best CDM in the league. <laughs> I'll let uh, you, you have that one. I'll let you have that one. You're gonna play. You're gonna play Dennis. Uh, you're gonna play Tielemans next to him. Yeah. You're not. You're gonna not gonna play Amate because he made me chew a tea bag on the last stream, which wasn't yeah. great. Here we go. We <laughs> I remember watching that. That was brilliant. That cheered up my. Uh, that cheered up my uh, evening after getting smashed by you like that. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. No, I know. I, I stupidly enough, I said if Amate scores. I'll eat, I'll chew a tea bag. I'm, I, you know, 15 minutes later, he scores. There was no yeah. chance in a blue moon that he was going to no. score. I have no. No, no idea how that happens. And like I was saying to you off air, uh, you are a big club now, definitely. Um, wow. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> He's still shocked. He's still pinching himself at that one. But yeah. Um... <laughs> there's a there's a tongue-in-cheek comment at the bottom, which is quite funny. Uh, Chris uh, Baker, Vardy is an ugly bugger, though. Imagine looking like it. That oh, is, that is clever. I like that. That's yeah, a clever a good one. comment. Yeah, Chris is Chris is Chris comes out with the, the jokes on the channel, that's for sure. Uh <laughs> as you could probably imagine. Before me, before uh, for me before we uh let you go. Um, who are you fearing from the lesser side currently? This is, this is as much as I, I used to love the man, uh Kelechi, I am very nervous about him because every time he's played against us, he's not played well. But I think he's in a form now where he could possibly come and, you know, do something. Um yeah, yeah. and also I think Madison's a very good player too. I have always admired him as a player. I think he's a great player who brings you guys some brilliant football from that midfield, especially when he has Harvey Barnes with him as well. You know, he's brilliant. But yeah. obviously, we're quite lucky that Harvey Barnes isn't playing tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow. I keep saying tomorrow. I just say, excuse me in the chat. It, do, it, does <laughs> feel, it does feel like tomorrow for some reason. I don't know why. I, th I, I think it's because at work, uh, there's only two of us going in tomorrow 
Um, so and everybody else is finishing, so it feels like it's Friday. It's confusing, I know, but yeah, 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 hey, yeah. Oh. but yeah, I am, you know, I'm fearing them, and you know, uh, Tielemans, he's also can bring, he can just does the searches of pace through the middle. You know, yeah. I'd like to see, you know, realistically, we haven't come up against any really big, big sides defensively, and the time that we have done, you know, United and the, the sort of picked out a few problems so it'll be interesting to see how we cope with some good players tomorrow uh, I'm having a you nightmare said it again. with that <laughs> yeah. when he, never mind the Jamie Vardy look alike it's how many pounds do I have to put in the pot for say tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> honestly but yeah um, uh, I'm um, just going to say the game now <laughs> it, what about uh, score predictions it's very difficult to get your uh, your lineups uh, because of the international break you don't really know who's going to get picked it's been the, you know the momentum of some of the players yeah. of form can be dropped and you know yeah it's it's tough to kind of guess of, of score predictions, but what would you go with? A gut instinct? Gut instinct. I reckon if we can control the game and sort of keep grips of that pace and that attack that you bring sort of in the first 20 minutes, which, you know, we saw happened against us at our place. Um, I reckon we can sort of maybe, you know, a nice 2-0 away win, you know, it'd be good, you know, if we can keep the clean sheet, if we can, you know, power a good squad after the international break, you know. Uh, I'd, I'd be happy with a, a 2 0 or just a city win in general, to be honest. You know, just keep the winning going, you know, as much yeah. as you won't want to hear that, Lee. Uh, yeah, I hope we get the win. I, I think it's going to be a draw. I, I, yeah. I think Leicester are going to score some goals. I think Man City are going to score. I'm going to go 2 yeah. 2. Two, and two. Yeah, I'm going to go 2 2, I think. Um, but that's based on just gut instinct at the minute. Let's just see what players are fit and stuff because I'm sure we're going to find out more tomorrow. Because uh, there's another mm. full day yet before we find out, you know. So I, I'm going to go two two. But but uh, yes, Chris, I am in Leicester. There actually, in Leicester, I am in Leicester, and I will have a beer with you if you ever want to meet me at the King Power. I am a season ticket holder, so yes, I do go down. There you go. Same if you come up to uh, up to us, Lee. Um, I'm a season ticket holder, so we'll happily invite you for a beer or when you're up here but, too. Yeah, I'm trying to think. The last time I went to the Etihad, I think it was the. Um... It was the Football Blog Awards, Content Awards. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, There yeah. you go. Yeah, won, won the, um, it was the best individual piece, the last award at the night. Uh, for, right. Um, I was live outside the King Power for about six hours filming when uh, the helicopter went down. The right. next, day, next day, I was reporting it on uh, Leicester Fan TV for about six hours. Well, I was just trying yeah. to get a, a, a bit of a, a Leicester take on it because all the national press were covering it. Mm. But they all put their own agendas and stuff in it. I just wanted to get it from a fan and uh, mm. for fans that can't get to the ground and stuff. And yeah. they, they all follow Leicester Fan TV, which is what I was originally doing. Yeah. So, so yeah. So I won the piece for that. Yeah. It's a brilliant piece to get, you know, and, you know, yeah, doing man. that after such a sad time as well for the club, you know. To be bringing that to the fans, you know, I reckon that yeah. was, you know, it's a good thing to do, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah, um, yeah we've got a, um, we've got a few uh, score predictions here. Before we, there you go. We need payback, so ten nil. Well, no, um, hang on, that would be ten four, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. At least get some goals. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, let him have a few. Uh, we've got two nil City. Um, City Chippy, also known as my dad, um, in the oh. comments. Hello, uh, Dad. He's, he's he's happy with a draw. Uh, so there you go. He's the same with you there, Lee. So he's happy with a draw. Yeah, I'd be happy. So, yeah. With a draw. Are you going to yeah. win the league, regardless? Yeah, there's no uh, way you can't not win it, surely. Yeah, I, I, no, I'm one of these. No you know, it's never, it's never over till it's over. But I'm, I'm confident. You know, it's surely one of them. I, 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 if Leicester beat, if Leicester beat you on Saturday, because yeah. the game is on Saturday, not tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> if Leicester do beat you, do you, you're still going to win it, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I don't think that we can possibly mess it up now. I think he's got a, a mindset of the taking it every game at a time. So I think, you know, how we bounce back from that United defeat, they showed, you know, to go straight into obviously the Champions League and stuff, you know, they, they went into there and did what they needed to do. So, yeah, it's. I think we should be OK. Should be OK. We've got a legend sweet with a super <laughs> chat. So thank you for that. And he's saying Man City five less than nil revenge. So it <laughs> seems like a lot. Everybody's going for uh, revenge yearly. Uh, but wow. yeah, we, we will we will see what happens. We so that sort of, that sort of brings us to the end of your time. So I want to thank you for coming on. I appreciate you. You're the first guest on the TNT live show. So that's oh, also awesome. very thank nice. You. Couldn't have thought of a better person to do it because I admire you and what you do over on your YouTube channel. I think it's great, mate. So appreciate yeah, thank it, you mate. for coming on. No worries. So if you just yeah. want to let everybody know whereabouts you'll be. If they want a, a Leicester fans perspective yeah, after the yeah. game. 
if you are beating us about 5-0, hop over to my <laughs> channel and uh, and give me some banter over on Lee Chappie on uh, YouTube. Just, just just type Lee Chappie and you'll find me. The link is in the description of the video, I believe, already, Tom. Yep, it certainly is. And uh, I shall, I'll speak to you, hopefully, on uh, on Saturday um, if, if we turn you over again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Well, I followed you on Instagram earlier on because I actually hadn't followed you on there. So I followed you on there now. So you could give us a message on there and you can have a little wind up. But yeah, Perfect. Thank, Perfect. thank you for coming on, Lee. So yeah, um, guys, make sure you check out Lee's uh, YouTube channel because it is really good. So yeah, thank you, Lee, for coming Cheers, on. Guys. And look Take after care. yourself. Take thank care. You. Bye -bye. Thank you, Lee. Bye, mate.